Welcome to the Audi Garage. In this episode of the B6 2.7 project, we're going to tear into the engine. So it's time to start tripping down the engine. We'll go ahead and remove all the parts that we're going to upgrade and along the way we'll check if anything needs any general maintenance like gaskets, seals, maybe some sensors, secondary water pump, anything that we can think of. So let's get started. So I found my first surprise on the engine. But while I was taking off the inlet on the passenger side, uh, some, some hardware fell out in the area. Uh, this is what I found. This is what fell out of the inlet. It fell out from the inside of the inlet. Definitely toasted turbo. Now that we have the turbos off, let's go ahead and remove the SAI system. So as you can see, I ended up removing the whole engine harness as well as the secondary air pump. I got a little carried away, but uh, the bottom clip on the spider hose was giving me a little bit of trouble, so I needed to remove the harness anyways, and it was easier to reach that clip with the harness removed. Having the harness and the spider hose stripped off will let me have a better look at what needs to be replaced on the engine and see uh, what we're working with. I'm going to end up removing all the timing covers from the front uh, so we can inspect the timing belt to make sure that it's still in good condition and uh, we'll remove the alternator and the AC compressor and uh, really soak this down and give it a good pressure washing uh, to get rid of all this road grime. Uh, the majority of this leak seems to be caused by the lower oil pan. Uh, you can see RTV squeezed out at the back side but on the front side uh, it doesn't look like they used enough and we have a leak. A nice little surprise here. For some reason two bolts was good enough instead of the three so yeah, make sure you put all the bolts back in when you're uh, putting stuff on like engine mounts. So now that the engine is stripped down, we're going to go top to bottom and make a list of all the parts that we're going to need so we can avoid multiple trips to the store. Because we all have smartphones, I find the easiest way to do this is to use your memo feature and create a list with a checkbox for each item that you're going to need. So here we go. We need a drain plug. We need sealant for the lower oil pan. We'll need an oil filter. We'll need oil. We'll need coolant. We need the snub mount bolt that we're missing. We'll replace the O-rings at the oil drain tubes. We're going to get SAI block off plates. As well as the N112 resistor and the SAI plug resistor. We'll need heater hose for the spider hose for the rebuild. Lower temperature aux pump uh, sensor. as well as a new auxiliary pump. We need intake manifold gaskets, as well as valve cover gaskets. We're gonna be powder coating both the intake manifold and uh, valve covers. Also need the throttle body gasket, and obviously various hoses and crimp clamps to replace some of these vacuum lines and such. The next step is to power wash the engine and the engine bay. Once those are clean, it'll be time to start powder coating. I want to thank you guys for staying till the end of the video. Make sure to check out our website, our Facebook, and our Instagram for updates in between videos. See you guys soon.